welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I'm a second year fourth grade teacher in West Michigan. And I apologize if my eyes look crazy. My allergies are like really acting up today. Yesterday, so I'm allergic to cats and this is like a developed allergy. And I have a cat. And yesterday my husband was petting the cat and then like the hair was going all over and anyways I was sitting by him on the couch and I just ended up with a bunch of cat hair in my eye and I thought I was fine I took my allergy medicine went to bed woke up this morning and my eyes were super itchy so not ideal but like what can you do so I'm trying to just like not scratch them and move my mascara all over the place but it's really difficult <laughs> so anyways uh, I'm here in my classroom bright and early Chris's car is in the shop and so I just dropped him off at work and then got here a few minutes ago filmed an outro clip for my last vlog and then I'm I'm gonna go edit that a second because I'm all prepared for the week so that's a good feeling woo woo so yeah I'm gonna try to get that all edited this morning but we'll see what happens I don't know um, I'm trying to think of anything new I can show you guys this morning. I worked on this display yesterday. I have so many Black History Month books that I wanted to display that I ended up with like this whole rack and like extras in there. And then also this whole section, which this is like my favorite. I love this, which I still have so many more people I want to add to this. So leave a comment below with some other people I should add who are not already on here because literally I could fill like this whole entire wall with people. But uh, yeah, I probably won't put quite that many people up because that seems like a lot of work, but <laughs> I definitely want to put some more. It's kind of like off balance right now too. Like there's more people on that side than that side. And then got good old Martin Luther King Jr. there. I will say like the kids get kind of scared because it's like a life-size cutout. And so like when they're not expecting him to be there, they'll like look over and kind of jump. So it's kind of funny though. And we just talked about like, why is it that he looks so serious? Oh, it's because he was fighting against you know, discrimination and racism. And that's why he's not big and smiling. And that's also another reason, side note, that I try to use some real photos in the room instead of just using like clip art because in all the clip art, not all of them, I'm sure, but in a lot of the clip art that I have off of TPT or that I've seen off of TPT for Black History Month, all of the characters are like smiling and happy and like look super cute. But I want my kids to remember that like they aren't, often portrayed in that way because it wasn't like a happy time like that doesn't mean Martin Luther King Jr. was never happy like he was a family man who loved his children and his wife and like you know had a lot of friends and whatever but at the same time like they were fighting against something really really serious and so like that's why in the photographs a lot of times Martin Luther King Jr. looks really serious because he was going up against racism <laughs> like and that's really serious and so anyways um that's kind of like my little bone to pick with some of the clip art like it's almost too cute for some of it and I really like it like it's adorable but I don't know if I love it all the time like I want to make sure my kids see like real photographs as well uh, so anywho um, also when we had Martin Luther King Jr. Day recently I'm just gonna walk through my classroom I'm sure there's people in the halls who are like what are you doing first thing in the morning okay let's come over here Actually, I don't think anybody else is here yet, but who knows. So, for Martin Luther King Jr. Day, we'd already talked about Martin Luther King Jr. a couple times this year. It wasn't, like, the first time we talked about him, but I printed out a bunch of pictures and then put, like, little descriptions, and the kids passed them around as, like, a primary source, and we talked about them, and so, yeah, you'll see in most of them, like, he's not smiley, but we talked about this photo, and, like, this photo kind of shows a different side of Martin Luther King Jr. because he's with like his wife and his daughter and like look how happy he looks. So there's that one and then we talked about this one too and we t talked about standing up for what is right and how what is right is not always the same as what is like accepted or even like what is legal or whatever that may be. So anyways, it was a really good conversation. And then over here, the picture that I have of Rosa Parks is when she was arrested as well. So yeah. There's a lot of people on here. And then I just have like a little description of them on the back. So I can remind myself each year, like most of these people I know who they are just by glancing, but there's a couple that like, just in case I forget, you know, like what made them influential or what made them, I guess, famous. I don't know how I would say that. I have a little description on the back. And then that way too, if I want to explain it to somebody else, I just have like a little description when I take them down. So yeah. Hello friends! So now it is actually Thursday morning. 
Uh, and I am sitting in the parking lot of the library because I just had to drop off a book and I am too early to go to my professional development because I'm only like a couple minutes away and it's only like 8.10 right now. The pe professional development doesn't start until 8.30. So basically I'm too early to actually go there right now. So I'm just gonna like sit and chill for a couple minutes. I always give myself too much time. I'm the type of person, and I know I've said this before, but I would seriously rather be like hours early than even like five minutes late. Like I just like don't like being late and so I always like give myself way too much time to get places but anyways that's totally fine um so i'm going to a math professional development today oh hi big truck how's it going he's probably like what are you doing and he is alarmed by what i'm doing maybe i should drive away the library isn't even open yet oh yeah he's parking and going oh 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 I'm just gonna talk to you because no shame, am I right? So anyways, I have a math professional development today which I'm really excited about, that should be fun, but I do lose my planning which is kind of a bummer. Yesterday was the 100th day of school and it was a crazy day, like insane crazy. I just feel like we have so much going on right now, trying to finish up um, a test and then we just, I don't know, just so many different things. And So anyways, I didn't do a ton for 100 day of school. I would love to do more next year, but this year I didn't do a ton. We just made like 100 day of school glasses and talked about how it was the 100th day of school and we still had fun with it and the kids like wore their glasses during the day I'll insert a quick clip right now of like the materials on their desk because I did film a quick clip of that so we'll insert that right now Hey there guys, so I'm back from the math PD now and in my classroom, actually in my back room, that's why I'm just chilling on the floor. Also, I'm like hoping there's no mice or spiders or anything on the ground because I don't, normally don't sit on the ground in here, so fingers crossed. Uh, but anyways, the professional development this morning was awesome. It was all on like math talk and math solving strategies. So like using different visuals and acting out the problems and stuff. And it was just like really, really neat. So that was awesome. And I want to show you guys, I got some books from the Coles Cares books, which if you don't know, Coles does like stuffed animals and books every so often where it's like $5 and I don't know where it goes to, to be honest. It just says Coles Cares. Let's see. Um, a hundred percent of the net profit from the sale of this item is given to support the health and wellness wellness of families in our communities. So, goes to a good cause. Also, they're only five dollars and they're super cute. So I got this cute little giraffe, which is from the book Giraffe Problems. Isn't that so stinking cute? And of course, I had to get the Giraffe Problems book to go with it. This is a really, really cute book. I read this at the library when it first came out, and I really enjoyed it. And then also, I got Penguin Problems, which this is the back. The front actually looks like this, which how cute is that? And of course, I had to get the little penguin to go with it. So now I have the penguin and the giraffe, and I think there was like a bear and a turtle I want to say as well but I decided to stick with these two and then also the other day I went to a thrift store and I got a few books nothing too crazy they actually were doing half off of all their books and their books for children are normally just 50 cents so I got these each for a quarter which is awesome first I got a frog and toad together book this is one of those like step into reading type books and then I got Silly Street. This one I actually had never read before, but I read it just like while I was there at the thrift store. It's like nice and hardcover and for 25 cents, I couldn't resist. And like, look at this picture of the author on the back. Are you kidding? Like, that's so funny. I love that. <laughs> so anyways, it was a really cute book. So I enjoyed that. And then I got this book, which I actually was just introduced to this book like two weeks ago by one of the kindergarten teachers in my building. And it was so cute. It's called Bear Snores On. And it's a really, really cute one. And I enjoyed it a lot. So that was one that was like already on my shopping list. And then I found it there for a quarter, which was awesome. Then the other one that I got is that same author and like the same type of series, but it's called Bear Stays Up for Christmas, which I just thought was super cute. So, yep, that is what I got. Super excited about that. And there we go, that's pretty much it. So, anyways, I have had a busy day because I didn't get my planning today because I had the professional development. 
and then I got back during lunch Melissa and I ate lunch together it was nice because I was able to like go grab some lunch on my way here so that part was kind of nice because normally I never have time to like go out for lunch so anyways did that got back and then I've just been like teaching since so busy busy my kids are at recess for like a quick minute right now but I just had to set a couple kids up with finishing up a test in the office and so my kids are gonna be back like any minute so anyways I need to like clean up this stuff and then go teach for the afternoon and then I tutor after school and then I think I'm going to trivia tonight and Chris's car is still in the shop so I need to pick him up after work so just a crazy day you know just a crazy day but that's okay, it makes the day go by super fast, that's for sure. But honestly, every day goes by fast. Like there is not a single day that I look at the clock and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's only this time. Like I never feel like that as a teacher. That's like one of the really nice things about it, being a teacher is like the day goes by so quickly. Kind of a bad thing though too, because it's like, oh my gosh, the day flies by and I never have enough time to get everything done. So anyways, I am just rambling on and on. I better go, especially if I want to have time to use the bathroom before my kids get back. So let's go. <laughs> Hey there guys, today is Friday. It is February 7, I believe. If my uh, schedule changer remembered to change the calendar for today, I'm pretty sure it's the 7th. <laughs> uh, and it is in the morning. Maybe you can tell, maybe you can't. Who knows, it is dark outside still. And I'm here in my classroom and I do have a couple things I need to get done. I am feeling like kind of out of it this morning. I went to trivia last night and the night before and usually I just go once a week because usually we only like go as a group once a week. And so anyways, I don't know if that's why, just because I like did more and so then I end up staying up kind of late because then I have like stuff I wanna do when I get home too. So I don't know if that's it or if it's just been like a crazy busy week and that's why I'm not feeling good today. But I don't feel like sick I just feel like really like not tired like as in I need to go back to sleep tired but like just physically and like mentally drained if that makes sense so there's just been so much going on and I feel like I'm like constantly trying to plan for new things and like we just started a new unit in math and so that always takes a lot of extra work to like kind of make all the material and try to like reformat my groups and just all of that stuff so anyways <sighs> trying to just like take a deep breath and start my day off right because I don't want to be like stressed or overwhelmed when the kids come here obviously so they don't get here for like an hour and a half so we have plenty of time until they get here and I feel like there was something that I wanted to talk to you guys about this, or about this morning but now I am blanking so oh oh I remember what it was so Every day, I feel like, I don't think I've talked about this yet. Every day I've been reading one page in these biography books and the kids are really enjoying it so far. So I thought I'd show you guys. I did this when I taught first grade as well for student teaching, but I will say that uh, these books are pretty high level. Like there's a lot of tricky words in here. And so even like my fourth graders have trouble following. So don't let the cover mislead you. This is not really a book that's appropriate for most children just because of the level unless they happen to be um, like a higher level. Like I don't know the Lexile level off the top of my head, but I would assume it's pretty high because there's a lot of really big words that even I have to kind of like chunk and figure out on the spot. So anyways, this one is Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History. And then this one is Little Leaders, Exceptional Men in Black History. And I've just been reading some biographies out of there. And I really, really like these books. But like I said, they're not really made for kids. They're more made to be read aloud. So like, as an example, here's a page from the book. So it's not really focusing but that's okay <laughs> but yeah so I've been reading those every day and I'm really enjoying that and if you like those types of books this one is really good as well and this one I just put up here and the kids can read it during deer time but then they just put it back up here when they're done because they don't want it to get like all damaged in their seat sacks so anyways it's just like right up here and they can grab it so I really like those short biography books where it's just like a one-page biography because it gives the kids like a taste I guess of a lot of different important people and it's just a little bit more like digestible for the kids so I really like those but like I said the two that I'm reading out loud they are definitely too difficult for most of my kids to read on their own so yep that's something I'm enjoying and other than that I feel like there again was something else I was wanting to tell you but I totally cannot remember so I think I'm gonna go ahead and move on with my morning I like I said do have some stuff that I need to do but I will try to check in with you guys at some point and then if not during the school day then maybe after school why am I out of focus I don't know what's going on with my lens this morning but that's okay anyways I will see you guys when I see you 
Hello, sweet friends. So now it is Saturday. I did not film another clip yesterday, I don't think, after my first clip. I think I just filmed that single one. <laughs> and the reason being, uh, I got home last night. Well, okay, during school, I got this really nasty headache. And not like getting sick, I don't think, but just being like tired and having, you know, a million kids say my name over and over all day long gave me a really bad headache. And so I got home and I literally fell asleep on the couch like I think I fell asleep between 6 and 7 and I did not wake up until Chris woke me up at 10 o'clock saying that he was gonna go down to bed and asking if I wanted to stay up or go to bed or what I wanted to do and so I just went to bed with him and slept through the whole night and did not wake up till 7 30 which is super late for me I'm always up by like 5 or 6 so I must have been behind in sleep or maybe I was fighting some sort of bug or something who knows but yeah I was like exhausted for some reason. So then this morning, once I got up, I uh, went to Chris's mom's house for breakfast, which was fun. And then I came to school and I have been here for quite a while, but I did leave for a little bit. I went and got lunch with my mom and then went grocery shopping with her. Uh, not for me, but like for her <laughs> because she needed to pick up a couple things and now I'm back and I will say you guys today I feel like I haven't done anything because I didn't really check anything off my to-do list but it's because I ended up doing a lot of stuff that wasn't on my to-do list that I just decided I needed to do while I was here just to get it done so like I went through my desk today and just recycled a bunch of old papers I went through the cabinets and cupboards and just like went through everything and made sure it was all organized which just like feels good and then also I don't know if you guys can notice or not but there is something missing and I'm kind of sad about it you guys and I feel like some of you are gonna be kind of sad too but it is the book rack I got this book rack oh I should probably not show names hold on Okay, I got this book rack last year from a teacher who had it and was getting rid of it. And I think this has been through probably like 10 teachers at this point. And I love the idea of it, you guys. I wanted a book rack for not like so long, but like for so long. You know, I, I wanted one really badly for a while. And I got one and I was super pumped and it was free because it came from another teacher. And I loved using it until I realized that my books were getting ruined on it because they would fall through like little side hole things and the pages were getting bent and like the covers were getting dented and it just wasn't good. So I decided we're just gonna do without it because it was not good for my books and I wanna do what's best for my books. And then also some of my kids, like when they would grab a book, it would kinda like go like this and almost tip over and I just don't want it to tip over on any of the kids either. So anyways, we're gonna get rid of it kind of sad about it but it's gonna be fine uh so i ended up having to like reorganize my whole entire classroom library basically to fit the books that were over there so i need to make a bunch of new labels so i have books up here okay it does not want to focus that's kind of rude hold on let me stop and start okay so up here i need to make some labels for those and then I have this all organized and I move some stuff over and I move some stuff over there and it probably doesn't look all that different to you guys but it is pretty different and then there's just some without labels now that I need to add labels to and then I still have my Black History Month display over here and now it actually has more space so hurrah before Martin was like right on top of the rack and he kept falling over and so I don't know if you can tell but he kind of got like scuffed up a little bit but anywho now he has more space hooray so yeah it's a good fix i think because it just like wasn't working very well and so i needed to change it <laughs> and so i did <laughs> and then i also just made a big huge mess because i started to set up our valentine's day little treat that i'm gonna give the kids and also i got these off amazon uh i got some like manipulatives for math and I didn't realize so I ordered 200 of these thinking that that would be like a lot and it's really not that much so I'm definitely going to need to get some more I think these are like eight dollars a bag though or um I want to say I saw one on Amazon where you could get like it in bulk so maybe I'll have to get the bulk one I don't know but these are awesome for math you can play like bingo games with them so like turn them over 
I went to a professional development this past week on math strategies. I think I told you guys about it, it was awesome. But they used a ton, they as in she, the presenter, <laughs> used these a lot to show different like groupings and strategies for solving word problems. And so I wanna use these in my classroom. And I borrowed some from another teacher on Friday and I just really need to get my own because I wanna make it like a regular thing. So I got those and then I also got these which are way cheaper. I got this whole bag of like, I think there's like a thousand of these for like eight or nine dollars and then I just ordered a yellow pack as well that I think will be here tomorrow so then I can use those for showing different things in math and these are nice because they're clear they're just like little bingo chips so anyways excited about those definitely need more of these but these are awesome if you guys don't have these I would highly recommend getting them because in the PD I went to they showed how you can use these from like kindergarten all the way up until you know forever so anyways super excited about those and looking forward to being able to play some more math games and also just like model our thinking in math so woo then this is what I am doing right now you guys I have like quite the setup. My goal before I leave, which I think I should probably leave soon, even though I really haven't gotten that much done like on my list, is I want to have my math talk label up finally because I've been saying I was going to put that up for like ever and it still has not gone up. And so I want to just like get it done because... I'm tired of looking at it without the label. So that is my goal before I leave. But it is like, I don't know if I can see the clock. It's like 6.10 right now almost. So I really need to go because I left my house at like 11, I think, this morning. And I've been out all day and I do like to see my husband sometimes crazy as that is uh, if I leave <laughs> within the next hour I will have to come in tomorrow because I didn't do any printing or prepping for the week really but that's fine I do feel good about what I got done it just is not like what I was supposed to be getting done if that makes sense but oh well that's life so anyways I'm gonna keep working so I can leave at a reasonable time and I think I think this vlog is probably going to be long enough, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember that you are incredibly beautiful and loved, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.